Open Office Mail Merge Labels Part 3 Creating the Labels. In Step 1, in Part 1, we created a spreadsheet. Part 2, we registered it as database, and now we are ready to create the labels. So we're going to do new labels. We're going to say File, New, Labels. And it's going to ask us to pick a database. Well, this is an old one of mine, so let me just delete these. Hit delete. Okay. I'm going to come over here to my book. I'm going to pick sheet one as my table. And there I've got my database fields. And I'm going to say title because that's Mr. and Mrs. So I'm going to say title. I'm going to note where my cursor is up here. So I print space. I then come over here and say first. Press enter. Press space to get another space between the word. And I'm going to say last name. Click over here. And this time I've got everything I want on my first line. I'm going to come down here with the enter. I'm going to click address. That's the first line of my address. I pressed enter. I'm going to click address 2. Click enter. Or click and press enter. And now the next line will be city, state, and zip. City comma, space, state, space, and then zip code, enter, and then I'm going to say country. And now I've got everything I want there. I've got to change this to Avery letter size. Anything that you buy, any sheets that you're going to buy here will probably be Avery letter size here in the US. And then I get to pick a size and we are going to say that these are 5961. And that would be whatever was on our label on the front page of our label container. And then we got to click over here on the options and we want to click make sure synchronize contents is clicked. This makes all the difference in the world at, at how easy these are. So we can say new document then. And there we have our synchronized deck. Note that we have this little floating box up here that says synchronized labels, and that's really cool and very important. Now I'm going to grab this line. I'm just going to make this bold. Now Notice the other labels are not bold, but when you say synchronize labels, the name is going to be now bold on all of them. Same thing if you needed to add an extra space. Maybe you want to have an extra space before the zip code. Okay, let's go file and print. And it says, that your document contains address da database fields. Do you want to print a form letter? And you say yes. And let's just click this. Let's just save this to a file. OK. I'm going to put this where, I, where we are working, which is in our libraries, documents, and it's class examples. 
and I'm going to call it test and save and now when I go to file and open test there it is and let's take a look at that Ooh, you can see everything's bold and you can see that we have a bunch of blank lines where the second line is and that's going to be our next lesson but that's how easy it is to create labels and then I can print them from here or not but I want you to see that the next st step is going to be this creating that that will be the next video